552 on this Monday morning, a damp start to the new work week. If it's not raining in your neighborhood yet, odds are pretty good that you're going to pick up at least some rainfall as we head through the day. Most of the shower activity in central North Carolina is to the north and northeast of the triangle, but there's more heading into the sand hills right now and plenty more where that came from farther out to our west. We zoom out for the wider perspective. This is not a real well organized storm system. There's plenty of rain to our north, to our south, out to our west, but it's just going to be sending these waves of moisture towards us throughout the day. Let's check it out on Futurecast. We'll switch over to the future radar here and show you widespread rain in place by late morning, the heaviest to the south and southeast of the triangle, the spots that are dry right now. We're going to see these waves of rain off and on throughout the day. Not going to guarantee rain at any one particular time, but your best chances of seeing rain in your neighborhood are going to be from late this morning into early afternoon. We start drying out a little bit by early evening, but I'd still plan on some wet roads for the evening commute, then a break from the best rain chances as we head into late evening and overnight. Looking out from our tower cam, and everything's looking fine on the belt line at the moment. 36 degrees, the current temperature in the triangle, which is not warm, but it's warm enough to keep everything liquid. No frozen precipitation. 37 degrees in Chapel Hill. You had some showers from this perspective an hour ago, but now you're in a break. It's going to be like that off and on rain throughout the day. Chilly rain showers, mid even low 30s farther north of the triangle. 33 degrees in Henderson, one very important degree above freezing. Low 40s farther south, 42 degrees in Fayetteville, 43 degrees in Goldsboro is the warm spot. We're going to stay about this level for the next few hours as more rain moves in this morning. It's going to spread out towards midday with temperatures only warming up a few degrees, basically a degree per hour as we head into the afternoon. And that only puts us up into the mid 40s for highs this afternoon. Those winds out of the east and southeast keeping the cool air locked up against the higher terrain out to our west. A little bit warmer far the south, but still chilly for this time of year even. Upper 40s to around 50 degrees for Fayetteville, the Sand Hills, and the southern coastal plain. Only mid 40s as you head north along I-95 and low 40s in southern Virginia and farther into the Piedmont. Just a cool, wet start to the work week with more rain on the way tomorrow, but also some warmer temperatures. The winds are going to shift direction. We'll start off in the 40s tomorrow morning. We'll warm up into the 60s with most of the widespread shower activity staying to our west and to our north throughout the majority of Tuesday. Some off and on showers in the afternoon, but then here comes that heavier rain from the west. That moves in by tomorrow evening. It sweeps across very quickly. You could even hear a few rumbles of thunder by tomorrow evening. But after the last of the showers move out after midnight, we're going to be drying out as we head into early on Wednesday morning. Temperatures are going to be all over the place for the next few days. From the 40s today to the 60s tomorrow, back to the 50s on Wednesday, back to the 60s for Thursday and Friday with another round of rain likely on Friday. That should be out of the way in time for next Next weekend, but there's still some conflicting data about that. So we'll keep you posted as we make our way through the work week. All right, sounds good. Well, the rain that's out there this morning is so light. Right. Hopefully not going to cause any problems for the commute. Yeah, I don't think Fingers so. Crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Right now, <laughs> everything is looking OK around the triangle. It's still on the early side. We've only had one accident so far this morning, and it's on 40. Um, and